Davy Harrison's family says he should not be alive right now. He's like Mr. High Risk. Davy is in a nursing home in Grapevine and recently tested positive for COVID. He gave his niece Florence Hill permission to talk to us. The very same day, that evening when we were speaking, we speak every day, he started coughing really, really bad, the phlegm and all of that, and he was like, uh-oh. State health officials said there were 12 active cases at the facility as of early November, but the numbers lag behind and there may be more. He just knew that it was just a matter of not if, but when. Mr. Harrison was moved to Baylor, Scott & White for treatment. They feared he was going to die because he has a number of pre-existing conditions. He has non-smokers, COPD. He has kidney renal failure. He is on dialysis three days a week at a dialysis center in South Lake, Texas. He has diabetes upwards of 20 years. He has high blood pressure. While at the hospital, he was given five days of the drug remdesivir, and Hill says it's working. It did wonders for him. Harrison will soon be released and will go back to Arden Place. We reached out to them and got no response, but Tarrant County health officials say they're working with the facility to prevent another outbreak. Florence Hill says so far her uncle appears to be recovering, but she believes he's one of the lucky ones because he got treatment quickly. She fears others in nursing homes may not be so lucky. In Grapevine, I'm Rebecca Lopez.